I figured I would make an updated version of my SLP and AXS withdrawal methods for Binance. I know that it's a massive update and a lot of people are trying to pick this up. So in this video, we're going to be going into it. I don't really want to waste too much time because, you know, time is valuable and your time is valuable as well. So with that being said, let's get right into it. My name is Classy Axie. Remember that if you like the video, be sure to like and subscribe. So we've got one of our scholars here. And first things first, you have to, you know, claim your SLP to be able to use it in general. So, I mean, to claim it, all you've got to do is you, it says claimable right here. It might have a little time frame for you where, where it's locked. But if you have it, all you have to do is claim SLP now. And then you'll see this little interaction. Go ahead and confirm. And then in the next few seconds, this should show up on your account. Once you see that it says X2692, which is the amount that we're claiming. So now if we check over here, our SLP on the Ronin wallet is going to show up. We're going to see our 2,692 SLP. And the way we're going to deposit this to Binance is first, if you're in the United States and you've made a Binance account before the update, then you're going to go ahead and turn your VPN on. Once the VPN is on, which we're going to give it a second here, then we're going ahead, we're going to go to Binance.com. We're going to go log in. If I can go log in here. And once I log in, I am going to continue so we can continue the video. So now that you're in your Binance account, you're going to go ahead and you're going to go to the right over here where it says wallet. You're going to go to Fiat and Spot. It says deposit and withdraw. What we're going to be doing to be able to get it in there, we're going to be depositing into Binance. So we're going to press deposit. But an easier way to make your life easier is if you already have SLP, you just go where it says SLP here. If we go to the right a little bit, it says deposit. We go deposit. Once you're at deposit, it's going to have the coin right there. If you don't have the coin, which I'll go ahead and pan it over here. But if you don't have the coin, you just search coin name SLP. It'll pop up. You select Smooth Bluff Potion. So the network that you're going to be in is RON, which is the Ronin network. It says here that you should change the prefix 0x to Ronin with this little colon here. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. Then we're going to press OK. You're going to see this address. So that copy was useless. But these little two squares here, you click to copy. Then all we have to do now is go on our Ronin wallet and deposit. But the only way I could do that is by turning off my VPN. So we're going to go ahead and close Binance. For me, people in the Philippines or other countries do not need to do this. But for me, considering I'm in the U.S., I have to do it. So now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the Ronin wallet. And once you're in the Ronin wallet, you click on your SLP. You go to send. And then make sure you guys do this with a small amount at first. So you guys can just make sure that it works. But you take the 0x in the front and you put Ronin. And then once we do that, we're going to go amount and you could just start it off with one. You put next. It's going to say here free times 100 just means that you get 100 transactions for free. You're going to do confirm and that should be it. You're going to lose your one SLP and that's going straight over to the network at Binance. So the way after that, this usually takes a few minutes. It doesn't take too long. Yeah, it's already done. OK, well, now you're going to go to Binance if you want to know how to do it from Binance to Ronin. It's not that difficult. Honestly, it's kind of the same thing. It's just the opposite. You're going to go to Binance here. Once you're in Binance, you're going to go back to where it said wallet. So if we put this up here where it says Fiat and Spot, you're going to go ahead instead of deposit this time, we're going to go withdraw. But you know, we can go to the smooth love potion here. We go to the right a little bit where it says withdraw. You click on withdraw. Once you're there, where it says address, don't worry about that for now. What we do need to worry about is the network, which is RON, which is the Ronin network. Now, this time, instead of the Ronin, we're going to put it to 0x. So I understand. The way to get this is you go on your Ronin wallet. You pick which account you want to use. Then these little two squares here, you put copy address. And then you put the address right here. Now, you take the Ronin out with the little here. And then all you have to do is put 0x and then the Ronin network and, and then you're set. You put the amount of SLP that you need, which I'll just do two just for this example. And then you would do continue. Once you're done, you're going to see this withdrawal request submitted. And it's going to say it's going to take 12 hours. But in reality, it only really takes two minutes or so or two to like 10 minutes. 
You're going to press complete here, and you kind of just wait. I mean, you see the withdrawal right here. Once you see confirmation, like 12 or 14 or 16, it's done, and your SLP is going to show up in your Ronin account. So I hope this helps. If you guys were curious, I don't really have any Ethereum right now that I want to, you know, withdraw out of Ronin. But if you wanted to know, first off, I have to take off my VPN here. But all you would do, essentially, is you would go to your Ronin wallet, deposit, and then you would go continue to Ronin bridge. And then after you're there, you would just go withdraw, transfer your assets to Ethereum. You would go to MetaMask. You would copy to clickboard up here. Make sure that you have some Ethereum so that you can tank the gas fees that you have to pay to get it out. You would put the Ethereum address right here. You put the asset and then the amount that you want to put, you would go next, confirm, and then you would wait a bit for the withdrawal process to go through. Make sure that you have enough because you cannot reverse this process. And then you would confirm that after you confirm that all you would have to do after that is this Ethereum is here. So you would need to send it over to Binance. So to send it over to Binance, I have to put my VPN back on. Give it one second. So we go back to Binance, and then once we're at Binance, go ahead, go to Fiat and Spot. Then you would go Deposit. You would look for Ethereum, since we're doing Ethereum in this case. And then you just go Network ERC20, which is ETH here. And then just copy this right here, the address, and then you would just go back on MetaMask. You would go to your Ethereum. You would go Send, and then just copy and paste it right there and right there you, you've got it the amount of ethereum you got to send <laughs> so i hope this really helps you guys you just figure out what's going on with the new binance update and i hope you guys enjoy this updated version if you enjoyed this go ahead leave a like and subscribe for future videos regarding axie infinity and other nft projects my name is classy axie stay safe stay classy and i'll see you on the next one